Hello everybody, it's me, Miss Fofexa. I haven't recorded one of these for a while, actually. I've been trying to record all the corns because we don't love corns. I'm having a great day today. The sun is out in England. It's hot. The beach rolling scene in the background, which is good. No, no classical music this time. So we have this very damaged nail here. Can you see sections of the nail missing? Potentially some infected nail. And we're just going to remove it because we like to. Now, the reason why we're removing it is because uh, to give it the best chance for it to kind of heal properly. Sometimes when you have kind of severe kind of nail damage and infection, uh, none of the treatments, um, you know, conventional treatments uh, work. So we move on to the most kind of extreme treatments. So right now what I'm doing is just removing the nail plate, I'm loosening up. We already did a local anesthetic. Loosening this up, easy. See, it's very easy to remove the nail. I'm just gonna loosen this all up from the cuticle too. I do have a tiny cot on, I'm just gonna tighter. And the nail should really just pop out. I've loosened it up quite well. One, two, three. And there you go. But it's not a clean removal because we can see it's quite jagged. There's a way to just have a look at the inside. Clean all this up. Anna, can you just spray the solution for me, please? So this is a canal, it's a antimicrobial. Just spray a little bit more. And How's it feeling? Are you done? Yeah, we're all done with the nail removal. I'm just spraying some antimicrobial. But it's good. You know, came with one piece. Okay. Let's have a look. I'm just going to look at the nail. I can't see any other pieces of nail inside the nail matrix or the nail root which is great we've removed it there is actually a bit of nail matrix we just removed all this bit here but it's not a deep nail 
Uh, it, itself. Let me just check on that side. One more time. Yeah, it's doing really, really well. I just want to make sure that I've cleaned everything out, and it looks like I have. Especially this bit is the bit that we're looking at. when all the, the news comes back. And um, we like the dressings here in the UK because we just do how this is how we're taught. to the patient if he has a lot reaction to anesthetic, if he faints. Um, it's always good to have two of you because it's one person. Giving the tips. Yeah. <laughs> Usually she's like the chocolate provider or the water supplier. <laughs> want to always make sure that the patient is okay. That's giving me a nice benefit. <laughs> We're just dressing this up just to um, make it look nice, but at the same time, making sure that the dressing is nice and, and it's intact, to be honest. I'm just going to give one more, and then we're done. Thank you very much for letting me feel. I'll let you know when it goes online. Keep smiling. <laughs> <laughs>